Hello everyone. Welcome to MS Update webcast. In this video, we will set up email discovery to subscribe RDS feeds. This is the 7th video in this ongoing video series on how to install and configure remote desktop services in Server 2019. In the past 2 videos, we have seen the multiple ways to access a remote app programs on a client machines. In that, the RD web access itself is by far the easiest method to access remote applications. Simply, we need to direct our users to visit the URL of our RD web access server and after they log in, they will be presented with a list of applications they can access. If you would prefer to have the remote app icons appear on a start menu of the client computer, then you may want to configure the remote app and desktop connection settings. In last video, we have configured remote apps on a client using RD Web Access Server's URL. Let's jump to our Windows 10 client PC before we discuss anything else. On this computer, already we have logged in with the credential of our user RD User 1. Let's open Control Panel. For that, I'm going to press Windows R key. Type Control and press Enter key. Click on Category and select Large Icons. Here we need to click on Remote App and Desktop Connections. As of now, there is a no connection available on this computer. To configure it, we need to click on Access Remote App and Desktop. Here, as you can see, it is telling us that we can enter email address or connection URL. Starting from Windows 8 operating system, there is the option to use an email address instead of the hard to remember URL which makes it very easy for users to complete the wizard. In order for this to work, we will need to create a new DNS TXT record which points to the RSS feed path. So let's see how we can set up email discovery to subscribe user RDS feeds. First, we need to set up DNS TXT record on our DNS server. Let's go to our domain controller and let's open DNS Management Console. On DNS Manager Console, I'm going to expand for lookup zones and then we need to click on a local zone Malbrood Local. Let's right click on our DNS zone, select other new records. From this list, we need to select a TXT record. Select text TXT and click on create records. It will ask us to specify the record name in which you have to specify underscore msradc. Once you type record name, your FQDN will be underscore msradc.mylab.local. Under text, you need to specify the URL of your RD web access server. https colon double slash ws2k19-srv02.mylab.local slash rdweb. After typing rdweb, we also need to specify slash feed. Okay, so your text to URL will be https colon double slash fqdn of your rdweb access server slash rdweb slash feed. Now, we simply need to click on OK button. Click on done. And here we have our txt record underscore ms rdc and it is pointing to the URL of our rdweb access server feeds. We can also test to make sure it resolves correctly by using NSLOOKUP command. Let's press Windows X key. Click on Windows PowerShell Admin. I'm going to type NSLOOKUP. We need to type set query type is equal to txt. We need to press Enter key. And here we need to specify the FQDN of txt record which we have specified earlier. In our case, it is underscore msrdc.malab.local. After typing URL, we need to press Enter key. If it returns the URL of the feed, then we are good to go. In our case, as you can see, the URL is there, https colon double slash ws2k19fsrv02.malab.local slash rdweb slash feed. That means now we can taste email discovery to subscribe RDS feeds on our client computer. Let's again go back to our Windows 10 client computer. Here we need to specify the email address of our user which is user1 at mylab.local. If you don't have the email address for your Active Directory user, that time you can also use UPN of that user as well. Once you provide email address or UPN, click on next. 
we'll get a confirmation message click on next to continue okay let's specify the username and password in our case it is user one click on okay we need to wait for a few seconds and perfect we are receiving message that we have successfully set up the following connections we have total four programs available on a rd web access server now we can access those resources from the start menu click on finish and to see those remote applications i'm going to click on start button click on expand and here we can see uh, four applications are there with the name work resources now we can access these remote applications just like we access a locally installed applications let me click on uh, adobe reader after waiting for a few seconds your application will open up as you can see adobe reader is up and running on our windows 10 client computer so this is the way how we can set up email discovery to subscribe rds feed in rds server 2019 that's it for this video demonstration thank you all for watching this video